Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources as you prepare for medical school and the board exam. Let's review vitiligo. This is um, a loss of pigment producing melanocytes mainly in the epidermis and it's more noticeable in darkly pigmented individuals. Um, clinical lesions include macules and patches of pigment loss. The hands, wrist, axilla, perioral, periorbital, and anogenital skin are highly affected. On the board exam, if you see the word coburnization, such as in lichen planus, these lesions are at sites of repeated trauma. So that's a key word association for vitiligo that you want to remember. In terms of the morphology, there's loss of melanocytes revealed by electron microscopy. Also understand that um, there are certain melanocyte-associated proteins, example tyrosine, NACE, or melan A and S100, which are all associated with vitiligo. As you can see on the left, there's a picture showing you vitiligo with the hypopigmented spots. And in terms of the pathogenesis, there's autoimmunity, neural humoral factors, as well as self-destruction of melanocytes by toxic intermediates of melanin synthesis that's responsible for this. Keep in mind that therapy with UVA with the use of photosensitizing drug, solarin, known as PUVA, has been known to be effective. Also, um, you can regain pigment initially at the ostea of the hair follicles. Some of the other causes of hypopigmentation include post-inflammatory hypopigmentation as well as albinism in which the melanocytes are present but the melanin pigment is not produced and so there's a lack or defect in tyrosinase. Again, please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete complex prep resources and remember that vitiligo is a chronic depigmenting condition due to an unknown cause and there's sharply demarcated areas of skin which become amelanotic, which is most commonly seen on the face. It's associated with diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism, pernicious anemia, and Addison's disease. Topical glucocorticoids are used to promote repigmentation with varying degrees of success. So those are the key board review points that you want to remember as you approach the COMLEX and USMLE board exam. Good luck in your preparation for the board exam.